Two children stranded in Monday's flooding told us today how a passing school bus came to their rescue. Hello, I'm Steve Eager. A Dallas ISD school bus driver and bus monitor spotted the kids in fast moving water and used seat belts from the bus to pull those siblings to safety. Fox 4 News first talked to the driver and monitor last night. Today, Fox 4's Alex Boyer talked to the kids and their mom. Alex. Hey, Steve, you know, days after the flooding, you know, the waters finally receded here in the Trinity River. Of course, much different situation in Monday, especially in southeast Dallas, uh, where this brother and sister decided to play outside in the rain. They quickly found themselves in trouble. It was horrible. My legs were stuck. That's 11 year old Gabriel Garner pinned against a tree Monday morning. He and his 13 year old sister were playing outside their southeast Dallas home when fast moving floodwaters swept them into the brush. Neither of them can swim. My sister was pushing me into the tree without her knowing. I was trying to hold on to tree because I was sw swimming away. Their mother's boyfriend went in after them and got stuck too. The fast moving water was about four feet high. Tina Gardner, who had another child with her, says she felt helpless. I was scared. I thought I was going to lose my kids. I didn't know how much longer Lewis was going to be able to hold on to them. That's when a Dallas ISD school bus happened to drive by the chaotic scene near Beltline and CF Han Freeway. It had to be God to send me that way because I don't even normally go that way. The bus driver Simone Edmond and bus monitor to Kendra Valentine told us on Wednesday how they ended up there detoured from their normal route to pick up a student who turned out to be a no show. Once they saw what was happening with the stranded kids, they took action, tying removable straps used to secure wheelchairs to throw to neighbors, forming a human chain. Maybe we could tie the seatbelts together and, like, you know, help them. The quick thinking paid off. The daring rescue caught on camera. So we grabbed the strap of the belt and boom, we got in. My legs were shaking. I was scared of anxiety. You can hear Gabriel repeatedly thank Valentine, the bus monitor who is recording. I'm going to give you a hug. Thank <laughs> okay. you so much. His sister pulled safely inside too. And I was telling her, put your feet down, like help yourself, like climb. The soaked siblings exactly. caught their breath on the bus. Miller reflecting on just how scary the situation was. I was thinking. We need some help because I'm not going to be able to do it. Their mom grateful to everyone who stopped to help, knowing time was of the essence. And they were frantic. They were panicked. I started crying. I was crying so hard. I felt so relieved. Their adrenaline still pumping three days later. It was quite an experience. I'm very grateful. Indeed, and a Dallas ISD spokeswoman tells me that the district hopes to be able to honor the bus driver and monitor at a future school board meeting. A date uh, has not been set just yet. And uh, Tina Garner, the kid's mom, of course, says she really also wants to say a big thank you to those neighbors that just happened to come out and also put their lives at risk to help her family.